In this video, I'm going to show you the transform tools and I will also talk to you about the history option in Photoshop. So in the last video, we copied and pasted using control C and then control V to paste the hat onto the giraffe. But what if I want that hat to be bigger or smaller or rotated? I can do that with the transform tools. What do the transform tools do? They allow you to transform the size and shape and rotation of a selection. Uh, the way they work are in two ways. First, there's the free transform tool, and you can get to that with the keyboard shortcut of Control T. Once this box shows up, I can drag it to make it bigger and smaller. I can hover near a corner and I can rotate it. So if I wanted a little hat on him, I could do that. Or I can make it bigger. Even I can skew it a little bit. Well, I shouldn't use the word skew. I can stretch it out, right? Uh, so that is one thing that you can do. Control T is the keyboard shortcut, and then you can drag it around and rotate it. Once you're done, you have to press enter because Photoshop will not let you use any other tool until you've accepted that transformation. The other way that you can use the transform tools are under edit transform. And you have many more ob uh, options. So you do have scale, which means making something bigger and smaller and rotate. But you also have things like skew, distort, perspective. If I wanted to make it look like it was going back in space or forward in space, I could use that. Um, and what else is there? Edit transform. I can rotate it exactly 180 degrees or 90 degrees clockwise or counterclockwise. I could flip it horizontally or vertically, any of those options. I can even use warp, which uh, allows you to really change how that looks. Again, Photoshop will not let you continue until you have pressed enter. And that is how to use the transform tools. Now, what if I don't like that last thing that I did. Photoshop lets you do control Z if you just want to go back one step. But if you want to go back more than that, you can look at your history palette. The way you get to your history palette is through window history and it will come up and it will have about the last 20 steps that you did. So you can go actually back in time or forward to get to where you want to be. So that's your history palette. If you want to make it smaller so it's not blocking your view, you just press this little button and it will become small. Press it here, it will become large again. I can just kind of dock it over to the side. So that's how you use your history button. 